All right, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I am doing a review of Bruno, uh, the new Sasha Baron Cohen movie. And I figured that I'd wear something Bruno-like, you know, for the review and whatnot. So hopefully, this is kind of funny. I don't know. Um, I'm doing this from my girlfriend's room because I'm here and I saw it here. Uh, I'm doing this review like way late. I saw this movie like two days ago, but I just didn't bother to do a review at the time. Because, well, let's just say that this movie is pretty goddamn terrible. Um, it's essentially Borat. But not as good way not as good and like you know that's saying something because I only watched Borat once I tried to watch it twice but you know it just didn't have the same I don't know like it was only like funny the first time you saw it after that it was bullshit in my opinion you know it was just it wasn't as funny because it was like real life situations you know it wasn't like a joke it was just like real situations or real situations um with um with a Bruno though I mean it's essentially you know a foreign guy coming from another land to make Americans uh, seem uncomfortable in weird situations and that's the fucking movie. I mean, it's essentially Borat, but different, you know. Um, there was only one funny part in this movie. One. Actually, no, there's two funny parts. Two funny parts. And the first one is... Eh. The first one is... Um, there was a talking penis in here for like a second. Um, which I thought was kind of funny. Um... I think that was, it's actually Sasha Baron Cohen's penis, if I'm not mistaken. He says it is in the movie, but, you know, God, you know, who knows. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, then the other one was, um, there was this whole, like, gay bondage scene with Bruno and, like, his assistants. And they couldn't get out of the cuffs. And they're walking down the street, and there's, like, um, a God Hates Fags protest. And they're going through it, and they're like, help us, help us. And they're, like, beating them with, the, like, their signs and shit. Kind of. Um, that was funny. That was about it. 90 minutes of gay jokes, though. 90 fucking minutes of gay jokes. Not good at all. I mean, granted, I like a gay joke every now and again. Not to say that's, you know a bad thing but you know I like a good Polish joke too and I'm fucking Polish or in part you know but I don't know it's not it's that that doesn't make a movie you know that doesn't you know do anything I mean even probably not another gay movie probably had less gay jokes you know than this movie um I really have nothing else to really say about it. Um, there was a good trailer for um, the some Jason Bateman movie where it's him like with his wife going to this Caribbean thing and whatnot. I forget the name of it, but it looked interesting. And I saw Avatar again, which I'm, trailer's growing on me, but I don't want it to fool me. Because it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, and we all know his last two have been just terrible. Yet again, or I don't even think I mentioned this on anything. See the riff tracks of The Happening. Because that movie is hilarious <laughs> with the riff tracks. If you've seen The Happening, just remember it's raining men in the beginning of that movie. It's raining men. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of what other trailers. Oh, Gamer, which every time I see it looks a little more interesting. Um, you know, and they have the guy who plays Dexter in there. Uh, that, I mean, it looks interesting. I don't know if I'll see it in the theaters, but I'll definitely, definitely see it when it comes out on DVD. Um, I'm 
trying to think of what other trailers were there. Oh, 500 Days of Summer, which, yet again, uh, I think I said this in another review, that it looks it looks like this year's version of Juno, because there was Juno, or actually no, you know, yeah, Juno, then there was Nick and Nora, and now you have 500 Days of Summer. They're essentially trying to copy, in my opinion, Juno over and over and over for one movie a year. Actually, no, I don't know if Nick and Nora came out the year before that. I think it came out... Did it come out this year? I don't know. I don't think it did. Um, no, I think it came out 2008 sometime. I don't know. But, yeah, it just reminds me of Nick and Nora. Nick and Nora reminds me of Juno. I don't know if they're all the same producers or the same writers or whatever. It just reminds me of the same fucking movie. Uh, shit, I don't have nothing more to say about Bruno. Than, you know, unless you like a whole lot of fucking gay jokes and people being in awkward situations. Then, you know, that's just your movie. I'd rather you go watch Borat, you know, than go see this movie. Because it wasn't good at all. I think it was really, 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 really bad. Look at this hat. I just found this in my girlfriend's room. I never even noticed this. This is her glasses, too. You know what's good about these glasses? Because I don't wear glasses. But I always thought if you have, like, you know, big, thick frames, you could always do dramatic, like, you know, things with them. You could go, by God. You know, you could have, like, an Armageddon moment or something. Here, I'll just put it on the outside. Yeah, let's take it off in general. But, I just didn't like Bruno. I mean, the trailers were the best part of that movie. Um, see it if you want. Rent it. I'd say rent it at the very least. If you have Netflix, save it now. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It was good for a one watch at best. It was just okay. Just a whole lot of gay jokes. And that's it. You know? I've never seen a movie like that before. Where it wasn't funny at all. Only, oh, actually, no, there was actually one more funny thing. Um, which I actually thought was funny. I think it's getting shit. I remember seeing it on CNN. Where he thought he, he wants to become famous throughout the movie, Bruno. And um, he goes to one of the Al-Qaeda leaders in Pakistan or wherever fucking Al-Qaeda is. I don't know anything about that. And he goes to like one of the more known leaders, has him on film, and he's like, you know, like I want to be kidnapped to be famous and stuff like that. And he's like, he starts calling like, you know, Osama like a hobo Santa Claus or some shit. Ugh, it was just terrible. Um, other than that, crap movie I'd see it maybe on rental again but I mean someone else would have to run it I'm definitely not paying you know whatever how much it is a blockbuster to go rent it now <sighs> waste of money anyway that's it uh, sorry about the crap quality here cuz I'm doing it on my girlfriend's webcam cuz I want to save my camera space that I have on my camera for Harry Potter so I'll have that review up soon, and one for Beth Cooper in a couple days. Alright YouTube, thanks a lot.